Isn't the background music lovely? I just made it myself, with a little help from AI. All I did was select the instrument, pick some notes from a game, and choose a genre for my music. Just like that, a unique soundtrack is ready. It's really cool to be a musician, right? But this is just a demonstration. The application scenarios are wide and impactful. If you want to create background music for your vlog, you can put your footage into a timeline, and then, with the help of our algorithm, a piece of music matching the emotional tone of your vlog will be generated for you. In this way, you don't have to worry about copyright. This is how AI is applied in the multimedia industry. In recent years, both tech giants and startups in China have invested heavily in AI research and development. The country aims to become a global leader in AI by 2030. Now, AI technology is applied to almost all industries in China, from personal entertainment to aerospace development. So traditional satellites are going to take the pictures, like imagery, on the Earth, and then transfer by the link to the ground, which is going to take like one week or something. But for now, we are using the AI on board, so can uh, pre-processing the uh, imagery and the data on board, which can just transmit as a useful information download to the ground. The size of the data are going to be smaller, which means the users can only catch up the uh, useful information. Going from week-long processes to just hours, this smart satellite reflects what AI can do, that is, improve production efficiency. Industrial leaders in China often gather together to share their scientific results and insights on how AI can drive a more efficient workforce. Earlier in a tech summit in Beijing, one of the keywords repeatedly mentioned was innovation. As an audience, I was concerned would AI steal our jobs and cause mass unemployment. It's kind of evolution for the society. First of all, we use a robot to replace people from the dangerous, dirty uh, working environment. We save people from this environment. If we use uh, humans in this environment, we will cause a lot of issues. Second point, we're thinking that if we can use more industrial robots, use more artificial intelligence technology, we can improve efficiency. That means maybe in the near future, we only need to work in two or three days per week. Last week, China vowed once again to promote AI and new technologies to drive national development. Technological innovation is key to promoting quality living standards for the people. Wang Tianyu, CGTN, Beijing.